beauty, skincare, and lingerie company under her brand Fenty. It's a great song. It really is. But I have no idea what in the world she says during this. Song. Let's look at the most and least independent states in 2022. For July 4th, 50 states were compared based on financial and government dependency. And the list looks a little something like this. The most independent states in 2022. Utah, number one, followed by Colorado, Massachusetts, Virginia, Nebraska, Florida, and Idaho, Wisconsin, Washington, Delaware. The least independent states in 2022. And I'm walking us down from number 41. New Mexico, Indiana, number 43, Tennessee, 44, Alabama, West Virginia, South Carolina, Alaska, Mississippi, Louisiana, and coming in as the least independent state in 2022, Kentucky. So California is right smack dab in the middle of all that somewhere. Those are your biz bites for this morning. All right, when we come back, it's slimy, it's giant, it slowly takes over places, it's just gross, and it's been labeled one of the most damaging blanks in the world. So what is this new environmental menace? We'll talk with Jim Ryan in just a few minutes. Nick Pagliocchini now is checking out your drive. We're finding out, oh, look at the 91. Weird, it's slow. Right, so now nowhere near as busy as it usually is. Maybe folks are taking the week off for the uh, 4th of July holiday, but westbound 91 as you're making it through Corona, off the 15 toward the 251 toll road. Light passage delay for you there. Nothing reported in lanes. If you're encountering otherwise, time to 50 on your cell phone keyword is KFI traffic. Still pretty quiet for you as you're making your way through Orange County and LA County. Not seeing anything major going down for the drive. Northbound side of the 5 out of Commerce in East LA off the 710. Going to be a bit busy for 45 northbound through Boyle Heights as you make way towards downtown LA and the 101. KFI in the sky helps get you there faster. I'm Nick Pagliocchini. Even working two jobs, it was hard to feed my kids while schools were closed during the pandemic. They usually get free meals at school, but now they were home and my grocery bill went up a lot. PBT has made a big difference for us. Over 5 million California children are getting the food they need thanks to PBT. Visit ca.p-ebt.org today to learn more about eligibility. That's ca.p-ebt.org. Funded by USDA SNAP, an equal opportunity provider and employer. Aired by the California Broadcast Association. Seriously, my dealership just fixed the transmission. We all know how easy it can be to go to the wrong place for transmission repair. Made up of over 800 pieces, the transmission is the most complex part of your car. So bring it to the transmission experts at AMCO. AMCO, always the right fix. Double A, MCO. Special financing available. Restrictions, limitations, and exclusions may apply. See AMCO.com for complete details. SoCal weather from KFI. We start the day with patchy low clouds, and this morning, I think to the haze from all the fireworks smoke you're really going to see, Highs today are going to be in the upper 60s to low 70s at the beaches. We'll make it mid to upper 70s for Metro LA and OC. And again, just the upper 70s, low 80s for the valleys and the IE. But we are expecting a warming trend as we head toward the latter part of the week. We lead local, live from the KFI 24-hour newsroom. I'm Jennifer Jones-Lee. The Pod Meets World podcast takes you back in time to 1993 for the ultimate Boy Meets World rewatch. Join original cast members Danielle Fischel, Will Friedel, and Ryder Strong as they relive every episode, sharing memories, behind-the-scenes info, and more. None of us have seen an episode since it aired back in the 90s, so we'll be witnessing our middle part haircuts, hooded t-shirts, and teenage overacting for basically the first time right along with you. Listen to Pod Meets World on the iHeartRadio app or wherever you get your podcasts. Californians are recycling smarter to help save our planet. Empty your recycling and let it dry to make sure it gets recycled. For more tips on proper recycling, visit iRecycleSmart.com. Do your part. Recycle smart. Are you at that point in your life where you feel like, I deserve a little more pampering than I normally do? I'm telling you, one thing you can do for yourself is put in a life source whole house water system. It's Jen, and I want to tell you about my life source to whole house water system. It's the most recommended whole house water system in L.A., and it offers you the luxury of filtered, clean, refreshing water because it comes out of every tap in your house. 
and it comes out filtering all the harsh chemicals like chlorine and chloramine to make your water taste its best. And what I like is it's getting that chlorine out of there, which is bad for your skin and hair. Better yet, it's easy. And an expert life source personnel will come to your house, perform the installation. You just sit back and all of a sudden they knock on your door and they say, hey lady, it's done. And a life source system is maintenance free, no filters to change, no salt, and no more bottled water. They install it, you forget about it. You deserve to taste and feel the difference. So call for a free consultation and a life source factory rep will help you through it. Call 800-803-2696 or visit lifesourcewater.com. That's 800-803-2696. Life Source Water. Taste and feel the difference. Are you planning on selling your home? Hey, it's Dean Sharp, the house whisperer. Can I give you some important advice? Don't throw away your home's true money-making power by settling for one of those quick cash deals or selling as is. Settling is not what we do with our most valuable asset, and it could cost you tens or even hundreds of thousands of dollars. Instead of settling, talk to the good folks at Revive Real Estate. Revive has a revolutionary renovate before listing program that maximizes the value of your home, but takes the stress out of pre-sale renovations. It's quick, it's easy, it's zero out of pocket, and on average, home sellers like you gain an additional $200,000. Let me say that again, on average, Sellers gain an additional $200,000 in profit when they use Revive. There is a right way and a wrong way to sell your home. The wrong way is to settle. The right way is to talk to Revive. Get all the value out of selling your home at revive.realestate. That's revive.realestate. This is Jacob Amrani. If you've been in an accident, call 844-24-JACOB. K-F-I. AM 640. And I Radio Station. More stimulating talk. There's a reason this song was played. Think about the words in the chorus. Uh huh. It'll give you a little hint as to what we're talking about with uh, Jim Ryan. Well, way to go, Tyler. That was a good one. KFI AM 640 live everywhere on the iHeartRadio app. It is your wake-up call. I'm Jennifer Jones-Lee. Police in Illinois have taken the man connected to a fatal 4th of July parade shooting in Highland Park into custody. Police say the shooter killed at least six people and injured 30 yesterday. A man who police say shot and killed his roommate has been arrested in Irvine after a three-hour standoff. Cops responded to a text from another roommate about two yesterday saying he heard his roommates arguing and then shots fired. And cops in Montana have con uh, continued their search for two men in connection with a smash-and-grab robbery of a jewelry store. Cops say two black men wearing masks, gloves, and dark clothing entered the store Sunday and used hammers to break open a display case. They ran from the store, jumping into a waiting car, and took off. News is brought to you by veteran-owned Semper Solaris. Jim Ryan, good morning to you. What is shelled, slimy, and super slow that is a menace to the environment? Slow and huge. Make a fist. Jack. Okay. Make Look it a fist. fist. Okay. This thing, this snail, is bigger than your fist. No. No. Yeah. The giant African land snail. Native to Africa. That's all. Only to Africa. Not to Pasco County, Florida, on the Gulf Coast down there. Uh, but there it's been found again. This thing has been found in parts of Central and South Florida. Occasionally, they had an outbreak or an infestation in the late 1960s. It took four or five years to finally knock that one out. The latest infestation started in 2011. Last year, 10 years later, they finally declared the animal eradicated. This thing is, you know, it's, it's an interesting creature. Picture Gary the Snail from Spongebob. Yeah, okay. Yeah, okay. of course. Looks like that with the eye stalks and the shell and all that. It looks quite a bit like Gary the Snail. It, it, it slithers around or, or moves around. It likes to eat stucco, for one thing. Oh. Which, yeah, and there are a lot of stucco homes there in that part of Florida. It gathers calcium from the stucco and the concrete that it chews on. It also eats something like 500 plants that are native to Florida, which is could be devastating to the ecosystem there. What's more, the giant African land snail carries a parasite that can pass meningitis to people. So if you handle it without gloves on, you could find yourself in serious trouble. The state uh, agriculture officials think that somebody smuggled it into that part of Florida, West Central Florida, and it either got loose or they turned it loose in their garden or something, and now 
Uh, it's been found again. It's going to take millions of dollars and probably several years to finally eradicate the thing. So they actually have a county in Florida that is under quarantine because of the discovery of these invasive African snails? Yeah. What does it affect June 25th, Jen? It doesn't really affect people, but it affects what people can move around. You can't, if you find one of these snails, you can't take it, move it to a different part of the county or a different county, for heaven's sake. Uh, you can't move plants or soil into or out of this designated quarantine area. If you spot one of these snails, you're supposed to call state agriculture officials, keep your eye on the thing, and they'll come out and kill it. You know, if you look at the uh, repopulation numbers of these little snails, you'd think they were bunnies. These buddies can produce up to 2,500 eggs a year. So just yeah. one guy can make, or girl, or couple, can make 2,500 eggs a year, and then they can make 2,500 eggs a year, and then they can make... I mean, I, I would kind of feel like once this population started somewhere, that I can only imagine it's going to take millions of dollars to eradicate. There's a yeah. ton of them. Right, yeah, and, and that's why this quarantine, this drastic move, putting this county under quarantine, Pasco County under quarantine, is 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 a big uh, deal because, yeah, that's a, it's, it's, a, it's a potentially devastating little creature. You know, interesting to look at, sure, probably fun to keep in your aquarium, but absolutely <laughs> devastating to the whole ecosystem in, in West Central Florida. Yeah, it is. So I think, too, once you feel like if, if I saw one in the yard knowing that this thing, you know, carried the, the, um, the rat, yeah. yeah, meningitis, all of a sudden I would think to myself, like, oh, my gosh, I want to, you know, I don't know, I want to kick it or hit it or whatever, get it out of my luck. <laughs> but then at the same time, like, oh, no, what's it going to emit when I do that or whatever? You know, I want to call somebody right away. So it feels like the same thing it would be if you saw a mountain lion in your backyard. You see that thing, you get in the house, and you call somebody. Yeah, exactly. I mean, they, they use something called metaldehyde to kill this thing, and it's pretty effective uh, on the uh, on the creature. The, the problem is it comes in little blue pellets, and if your dog gets into it and eats these things oh. thinking it's dog food, it can cause problems. It can give the animal the shakes and spasms, all this, and get to take it to the vet. Probably won't kill it, but it does cause some issues there. And so, yeah, it, it, it'll kill a snail, but it'll also hurt your dog. So that, that's one other thing. I mean, even the treatment is uh, is a bad thing. Yeah, absolutely. And do they think that, is it, I mean, uh, I guess they want, I'm asking about the treatment. Is it like when you put, like, salt on a snail and they sort of, you know... I, I guess know. that actually happens. I don't know if anybody's actually done that. I think it's kind of a... That's an urban myth, isn't it? Is it? Well, I, I uh, hope so. I don't know. But they they say that it just sort of, you know, the, I don't know, dries exactly. up and, yeah, withers this away. Stuff, this stuff they actually eat and it kills them. Okay, got it. So they're ingesting it versus yeah. having something put on them. And then has anybody actually said they've lost a crop or a field or anything like that because of them? No, and that's what the quarantine is intended to prevent. Okay. They don't want people losing their gardens, you know, at the least, or entire orange groves or something like that in South Florida. So that's that's why they're, they're taking this action now. Within just a couple of weeks of this thing being spotted, this quarantine is in effect and violating it could get you some serious fines. All right, well, thanks for that really gross right. information. Thank you. All right, see you later. Slimy. It is very slimy. It's, all right, thanks, Jim. See you later. See you, Jim. It's ABC's Jim Ryan. The snail has kind of a brown and gold, um, I think I'm kind of a cat eye. You know what cat eye looks like? Like a cat eye ring, and it's got like the darker colors and then the lighter colors that are sort of marbled through it. That's kind of what this looks like. But the picture that I'm looking at that's on CNN, it shows two of these things, and it's gross. It's like they're on paper towels or something, so you see the slime spot right there. And then they, somebody has put a ballpoint pen next to them. And these things look as long, if not slightly longer, than a ballpoint pen. And when it comes to your fist, it's absolutely right. They're really, um, no offense to the, to the snail. They're a, they're a chubby little shell on there. All due respect. But they are they are long, and they are chubby, and it's... I want to find one of those. Let's get back to some of these stories coming out of the KFI 24-hour newsroom. Vice President Kamala Harris says she plans to go to a previously scheduled appointment in Chicago. Harris and her husband, Doug, Doug, oh, uh, uh, Doug Emhoff, visited Santa Monica. They were at a fire station yesterday. Harris briefly spoke about the Highland Park deadly shooting. 
The cost of rebuilding Ukraine after the war has been estimated to be $750 billion. Ukrainian President Zelensky told the Ukraine Recovery Conference at a video call to Switzerland yesterday that a global effort will be needed to rebuild his country. Ukraine's foreign minister added much of the money should come from the assets of Russian oligarchs, estimated to be worth between 300 and 500 billion. Still not enough. Say we got every penny of the assets from those Russian oligarchs. Maybe. And it will we'll give the estimate on the high side, 500 billion. Where are you coming up with that extra 250 billion to rebuild Ukraine? A city councilman in L.A. from the San Fernando Valley is trying to keep thieves from stealing copper wire from the street light in his district. Councilman John Lee says he set aside $60,000 to have the city crews test ways to make the boxes that house the copper wire more secure. This fortification includes burying the boxes deeper, covering them with cement, making them harder to locate above ground, and fortifying the boxes with steel plates and rods. Lee says copper wire theft is a safety issue because it leaves streets in the dark and the dangerous wires exposed. He says the cost the city uh, cost the city a lot of money to replace those wires. And finally, that's the control room inside JPL yesterday. Although it happened to be in 1997. That's when the spacecraft Pathfinder landed on the surface of Mars. It was the first time in 20 years. Scientists were able to see the pictures from the Red Planet. It was also the first major mission following the successful space shuttle program and the first under NASA's new motto, Faster, Better, Cheaper. Isn't that a Kanye West song? Faster, Better, Stronger? The Pathfinder would become the model for future missions, including the Mars Perse Perseverance and Ingenuity. All right, when we come back, we're going to talk with ABC's Alex Stone. I want to get a little bit more into what actually went down yesterday in Illinois. I want to talk more about where the shooter was. What do we know about him at this point? The person who is of interest, I guess I should call him, in the case. Also, I want to know if we know anything more about the victim. So that's coming up with Alex in just a few minutes. Right now, let's get another look at your drive with Nick Saliotini checking out The Five in Norwalk. So some folks are going to see some passageway show up for you as you're making away from the 605 out over the uh, Santa Fe Springs adjacent area. Continuing through Downey and the Commerce, it's going to be passing through the drive, especially heavy as you approach the uh, 710 uh, getting out of East L.A. Continuing through Boyle Heights, 5 north down as you make way towards downtown L.A. in the 101. Definitely rough for ride there. Nothing reported in lanes, but definitely slow going. South L.A., 110 north, starting to see some delays as well for you. From as far back as Manchester, looks like that'll be still going through South LA, 110 north down as you make way toward Martin Luther King Jr. Boulevard. Hey, find this guy helps get to there faster. I'm Nick Pagliotini. Hey, it's Conway here for American Vision Windows. Now, can you imagine if Bill and Kathleen had a good experience and didn't create their own window company? Do you know how many homes in Southern California would be windowless right now? Thousands, right? Thank God Bill and Kathleen started their own window company. Their mission is to provide a positive experience for all homeowners by revolutionizing the home improvement industry, one customer at a time. We have three windows in our house from American Vision Windows, and they're my three favorites. It's quieter, it's cooler in the summer, and warmer in the winter. Check this out. Combine any two of the following offers and save up to $2,200. You got free expert installation, free upgrade to the Sun Matrix package, free sound package, no payments and no interest for 12 months. Choose any two and save. Call 888-226-9908. 888-226-9908. 888-226-9908. Or check out the website, AmericanVisionWindows.com. AmericanVisionWindows.com. This offer is by July 31st, 2022, California CSB 778326. This report is sponsored by Cal Recycle. Confused about recycling? Californians are recycling smarter together. Visit iRecycleSmart.com for tips to help keep your recycling out of the trash. That's iRecycleSmart.com. Do your part. Recycle smart. This is Clay Travis. Here's what's trending from the iHeart Sports Network. Presented by Blind Sarah. The Dodgers were able to hang on to beat the Rockies for a 4th of July win. 
Tracy Thompson hit a three-run homer. They'll meet again tonight. The Lakers wrap up the California Classic tonight when they take on the Kings. Their summer league schedule continues in Vegas on Friday. And the quarterfinals are underway at Wimbledon. Only two Americans remain. Taylor Fritz on the men's side and Amanda Anisimova on the women. I'm Misty Jordan. Need new blinds or shades? Blindster.com offers custom-made blind shades and shutters shipped directly to you at prices less than big box retailers. Blindster blinds are easy to install and guaranteed to fit. And right now, save 45% off any order. Just use code radio at checkout. Blindster.com. Are you planning on selling your home? Hey, it's Dean Sharp, the house whisperer. Can I give you some important advice? Don't throw away your home's true money-making power by settling for one of those quick cash deals or selling as is. Settling is not what we do with our most valuable asset and it could cost you tens or even hundreds of thousands of dollars. Instead of settling, talk to the good folks at Revive Real Estate. Revive has a revolutionary renovate before listing program that maximizes the value of your home, but takes the stress out of pre-sale renovations. It's quick, it's easy, it's zero out of pocket, and on average, home sellers like you gain an additional $200,000. Let me say that again. On average, sellers gain an additional $200,000 in profit when they use Revive. There is a right way and a wrong way to sell your home. The wrong way is to settle. The right way is to talk to Revive. Get all the value out of selling your home at revive.realestate. That's revive.realestate. When people talk about how hot it is, I have to remind myself they're not necessarily talking about me. But can you blame me? And now, the top five reasons to visit Morocco. Number five. Summer means Flamingo Friday. Join us every Friday for SoCal's best school party. Book your cabana now. Number four. Lucky me, lucky you. Two lucky players win $500 every half hour while playing table games Wednesday and Thursdays from noon to 10 p.m. Three. Latin Sunday. Salsa merengue the night away every Sunday night at the sideline stage. And the number two. Our travel center is the lowest price gas around. And the number one reason. Piscato is open. Come get the freshest, most delicious seafood by the one and only Top Chef Fabio Viviani. Morongo Casino Resort and Spa. Morongo. Good times. Bad news, water restrictions are here. Good news, rough and tough turf is your answer. You're going to save money on water and gardening bills, and rough and tough guarantees it'll pay for itself within years. Call rough and tough turf right now and ask about the KFI Spring Special. You're going to get free demo and $1,000 off. 818-403-3581. 818-403-3581. 818-403-3581. Or the website, roughandtoughturf.com. That's R-U-F-F, the letter N, T-U-F-F, T-U-R-F.com. TSL B1. Each week, at least one child dies from heat stroke after being left alone in a car. Often, these incidents are not a matter of neglect, but even the most responsible, loving parents are liable to forget a child in the car due to sleep deprivation, stress, or a change in routine which can lead to fatal results. As temperatures continue to soar, take steps to ensure a child is never forgotten in a hot car. Download the Cars for Kids Safety app today at carsforkids.org slash safety app. Remember, that's cars with a K. Portions of the following program will be recorded. The people are the sovereign in this country. We don't have a king. We don't have a queen. How do we get our officials? Who runs this country? Those that are elected by the people of the United States. Bill Handel. Why have a commission if we just get overridden by the court system? Mornings from 6 to 10. Because we have a court system. That's why. On KFI. <laughs> everywhere on the iHeartRadio app. This is your wake-up call. I'm Jennifer Jones-Lee. Before we get into more about the shooting in Illinois at the 4th of July parade yesterday, I just want to give you a couple of stories. We had a man locally who died after setting off fireworks in Montebello. Police responded to a home last night about 6.30. The man was found unconscious in his yard. He was taken to the hospital. That's where he later died. Police say the fireworks he used were illegal and the price of gas has hit a record for the 4th of July. The average price for a gallon of regular unleaded yesterday was $6.29. The previous record for Independence Day was reached in 2008. 
That's when it was all of $4.60. Couldn't we please go back to that high? That's all I'm asking. Alex Stone, good morning to you. This is, I was commenting earlier this morning how I feel like all I talk to you and Aaron Kaczerski about lately, and I know this isn't necessarily the case, but are shootings, mass shootings across the country. And here we have another one. This time, though, it's the 4th of July parade in Illinois. It is. You know, we, we say, well, this time it was a school or a grocery store or a movie theater or a concert in, uh, in Las Vegas. This one, 4th of July parade. And this was like one that you would have seen in Santa Clarita or in Huntington Beach or anywhere else where it was full of young children, their fold-up chairs, tiny American flags. They hadn't had a parade here in two years because of the pandemic. They were excited about it here. And, Jen, as I look around right now on Central Avenue running down the, the middle of Main Street before it turns into the, the heart of the, the crime scene where the FBI is analyzing the evidence, there are all kinds of signs of what went on. Fold-up chairs that are trampled. There is a quite a nice stroller in front of me here that somebody wouldn't normally leave behind. A Lululemon bag hanging off of it on its side. There is a very small pink child's fold-up chair that somebody was sitting in that. And then the gunfire uh, was heard and, and they went running. Uh, and these were all uh, knocked over here. So... This, this is a community like so many that we visit that say, not here. They didn't think it would be here. Uh, it, it's almost cliche now, but that's what people in, in town are saying. Not in Highland Park. Yeah, Chicago, maybe. 30 miles to the south. This is a suburb like any suburb around L.A. with grocery stores, with huge parking lots, of strip malls, of malls, of the Olive Garden and the Courtyard Hotel. It looks like any of those communities. In fact, we found out a lot of the, the John Hughes movies were filmed in this town. If you go back to oh. uh, parts of Ferris Bueller's Day Off and just south of here, Home Alone, and the, the community just south, that's what this community looks like. And now they are, are dealing with this, and the investigators try to trace the history of that rifle. They want to confirm that the 22-year-old who they have in custody is in fact their shooter if he is why what was the motive how they're working on all that right now but this is what it sounded like as it unfolded <laughs> It was that and then a brief pause likely to reload and then that again and then another brief pause and then that again and the the rapid gunfire bullets raining down on the crowd here the shooter was up above he was perched on a building seeming to, to pick off his victims nobody knew where the gunfire was coming from and it took a while for people here to realize that is gunfire they thought it was firecrackers or fireworks being set off but but no Finally, they realized when people were going down that, that it was a gunfire. 8 to 85, the age spectrum on the victims here. Some of them still seriously injured in the hospital, six dead, and a lot of questions here that, that they don't yet know. Uh, as far as the six who are killed, do we know their age range at, at this point, or have they released any identifications yet? We know five of them are adults. We don't know on the, the last one. We know from family members one a 73 year old grandfather his grandkids saying he was a funny grandpa and that he was there with them to, to see the parade uh, a woman who worked in a synagogue the the synagogue uh, confirming she was shot dead uh, watching the parade the others were waiting on right now but but they're beginning to come in oh, that is just uh, I, I don't even know where to go i mean you hear that that those gunshots and what i expect to hear is the marching bands, the high school bands, the kids screaming as somebody goes by and tosses candy from a float. Not that. And you're absolutely right. I think if somebody had been at that parade yesterday and those sounds broke out, I think, too, because they were so in sync, you would have thought, oh, this is maybe part of, uh, I don't know, a float or this is part of fireworks that are going off on a float that goes by. Not somebody shooting off the top of a building, sniper style. Yeah, well, and that's what one of the witnesses was saying, that there was almost a musical note to how he was firing, that they thought, well, this is choreographed, this is something that, that's yeah. part of the parade, and they didn't think gunfire. We now know, by the way, Jen, that 
He has an extensive online presence littered with signs of mental health, hatred, gravitating toward hard right neo-fascist ideology. And we know one of the videos he posted months ago was of the 4th of July parade route. There was a video with a death theme in it. He created videos depicting mass shootings. Symbol for himself, his avatar of, of sorts, was uh, resembling a neo-Nazi hate symbol. So.